Jane, what do you think the implications of this are going to be for Iran and the wider region? Well, it's a shock event in one of the most important countries in the region, but the immediate geopolitical implications may be quite limited, assuming that Iran does not blame outside countries or forces for this death. The Iranian system has got a lot of its own problems and insecurities. It's already dealing with a slow motion succession crisis over who becomes the successor to the country's top cleric who's in his mid-80s and said to be not very well. But when it comes to replacing the president, there are enough other forces and people in the regime who are likely to be able to close ranks. They're unlikely to significantly change Iran's foreign policy orientation. But it is still early days and we don't know what is going to happen in terms of the blame game, whether the government will say this is a tragic accident or whether they will try to cast blame on others. What would you expect in terms of the political narrative at the moment? Is this something, given what's happening with Israel, given what is happening in the wider region, is there a... Would there be a, an advantage in blaming others? I guess is the question that I'm going to ask when it comes to this accident. It's, I think it's most likely that this has been an accident caused by very bad weather and Iran has a really poor record in aviation safety. Some of that is partly because it's under sanctions and it finds it very difficult to keep upgrading and modernising its helicopters and its planes. So certainly I think you'll see some emphasis on that from the Iranian government to say sanctions really are deadly. Um, but at the same time, you know, this is a country where they have had senior officials assassinated uh, both by America in the case of Qasem Soleimani back in 2020 uh, and by Israel, um, including just a few weeks ago, some senior commanders who were in Damascus at the time. However, it would be completely unprecedented to have interference at this level of politics uh, and with you know, people who are sort of in the government rather than involved in Iran's military, paramilitary operations overseas. I think Iran probably also won't want to look weak. Uh, so I don't think there will be that official blaming, but there will be a lot of conspiracy theories. And of course, there'll be a lot of internal conspiracy theories as well. Uh, some thought that Raisi might be a candidate to become the supreme leader in the future. Uh, there is a big internal tussle over that position, which ultimately is more important than the president. So Raisi had a lot of enemies and there will be a lot of speculation and theories, especially in a country where, for understandable reasons, people don't much trust the official news sources.